Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. Like the title says, this is an update for my craft room cleanup challenge for February, or I should say focus, because I wasn't necessarily challenging all of you to clean your spaces. It was mostly challenging myself. I really just wanted to focus on organization and cleaning and really get my craft room back into a place, into a status that worked for me. So I'm giving you an update straight from my computer. I'm going to edit uh, some clips and showing you some of the things that I've worked on over the last week and a half or so. So the first thing that I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to work on was my wall of cardstock storage. I knew this was low hanging fruit, as I mentioned in the video, and this would be a great place to start. And it turned out to be a wonderful beginning. And it also kind of tied in some other areas of the craft room as well, because as I started putting cardstock all in one place, I was pulling it from other places of the room as well. So as I started to organize this one area, other places started to get organized along the way. I'm going to show a clip on screen here of what my wall of cardstock looked like before. You'll notice that I have some uh, markers, some Karen markers up in the top right, along with um, a little stuffed donkey that my mom crocheted for me, it's little things like that. There's also on the bottom row on the left, there's an area where I had a half drawer unit and I decided to just give myself more space for cardstock. So I would remove those three cubby items and I would replace them with new units from Stampin' Storage. They came super fast. I think I ordered them on a Wednesday and they were here on Monday. They were, it was so fast. I slid them inside and I started organizing my cardstock and it was lovely. I also have some additional things that I did for organizing my cardstock that I will show you in an upcoming video. But um, for now, I just wanted to show you the status of things. So those items that I had to remove to put in more of that cardstock storage, those ended up in a different area of my craft room, which we'll get to in just a minute. While I was bringing everything that was cardstock or paper related all to one area of my craft room, I brought over some six by six pads that I had in the closets that are on the side of my craft room. And I wanted to bring those over to where the rest of my paper and cardstock is because I wanted all like items to be in the same area. So in the cabinet on the right side below my cardstock, I'm gonna open this cabinet up and you can see that there are a few shelves. And the top two shelves are where I put my bins of six by six pads. Now I like to pull these six by six pads out almost like a drawer and thumb through all the, the pads so I can see them up close and personal. That's just a personal preference. Other people just like to store them in other boxes, things like that. But this is gonna work great for me. It's kind of how I have them in the closet on the side of the craft room but it was away from where the cardstock was. So it didn't really make a lot of sense. So also what happened when I was putting all the cardstock into the units and organizing them, it freed up this space right above the sink in my craft room. And my postage stamp albums just fit perfectly right above the sink. So these went back there. I had them there before and I took them down for whatever reason. I don't know, but they're back there now. And it's a perfect spot for my postage stamps. And I also put uh, my larger pads of watercolor paper and Bristol paper that I use for custom envelopes. I put those right there, as well as my We Are My Memory Keepers punch board, my one, two, three punch board. Kind of like all of my like mail art things are kind of all in one spot. And along those lines, I wanted to get the other items for mail art in this same area of my craft room. So there's a drawer that's right across from that cabinet below the cardstock. And this is a very deep drawer. It was empty actually before I put anything inside of it just a few days ago. I put envelopes all in this drawer. I've got most of the sizes of envelopes that I have in my stash, but there were a few that didn't fit. So I put those in a separate bin and put them in the cabinet that's right across. So all of the mail art envelope stuff is right there. And along those lines, I decided this was a great place to store wax seal, um, the wax and also the, the stamps for those because it's kind of like mail art, mailing, kind of like dressing up your envelope type stuff. Just makes sense in my mind. 
So I corralled all the different items in my craft room that have to do with wax seals and brought them into one area and put them right here in this cabinet. It's going to work out great. I know exactly where they're at and where to put things if I decide to add more to my stash. I mentioned the items that I had to remove from the different cubbies in my cardstock storage area. And they were boxes of markers and um, a few little knickknacks with uh, this little donkey that my mom crocheted for me, things like that. All of those items ended up on the top shelf of my open shelf storage. If you remember before, this area was covered in boxes just random things that I, I didn't even need to be holding on to. So I cleared that off and I put my Karen markers up there as well as two drawer units that I had sitting around from my previous craft room. Now these drawer units, you can pull the drawer all the way out and move it to a different area. So I put all of my acrylic paint pens, my acrylic craft pens from Archer and Olive in this drawer. And the other three drawers don't have anything in them yet, but I'm planning to put more acrylic markers and specialized markers like that all up in this one area. So something I want to tell you guys about that happened over the course of putting out that first video wanting to clean my crafting space and then actually starting on the project. Uh, one of my husband's old co-workers, she used to work with him years ago, loves organizing. And I had no idea about this, about this, about her. She loves organizing. In fact, she helps people and goes to their homes and just, you know, if she didn't have her full-time job, she'd have an organizing business. She loves it that much. So she contacted me and said, Hey, do you want any help? And I said, yes, please. I have so much I need to do. So her name's Casey. She came over for a few hours this weekend and helped organize things. And one of the things that she did that I'm like, oh, she's an angel, bless her, is she started gathering things in giveaway packages. So I pulled out bins from my stamp and die storage area and just things around my craft room that I had already set aside for giveaways. We brought all of those together into a different room of my house. And Casey and my husband went through and stuffed all of these giveaway packages. Now I'm not ready to do the giveaway yet. So stay tuned for that. We ran out of these flat rate padded envelopes. So as soon as I get more of those and we finish packing everything up, I will have a giveaway. Also speaking of like giving things away, um, I don't, I don't, I can't remember from my last video I did or not, but I think I did open some cabinets and show you like all the stamps and dies. A bunch of those that are in my collection are retired. I know they are. I just haven't gone through and like researched to pull out everything that is no longer being sold. And because it's not being sold, I probably won't use it in my videos. Um, I know it frustrates a lot of you if I show something and then it's discontinued and you can't find it anymore. So, um, just as a general rule, I don't use discontinued product if I can help it. So I'm going to go through and pull all of those out and then set them aside and put them in a giveaway. Casey's helping me do that as well. She took a bunch of bins home with her yesterday and she's going through all that and organizing. And like, this is the best thing ever. I feel like I hit the jackpot. She loves to use a label maker. So she's going to help me label stamp pockets and things like that in the future. So amazing. Another thing Casey really loves to do, and I'm just going to start calling her Angel Casey. Another thing that Angel Casey loves to do is um, just organize drawers and things like that. So I opened up a couple drawers in my craft room and let her just add it. She organized this uh, very deep drawer that I had all of my like adhesive refills and tape thing, you know, just glues and, and stuff like that. She organized this drawer into like items. It turned out great. Right above that drawer in the same area of my craft room is a drawer where I keep masking papers and um, full sheet adhesive and things like that. She went through and pulled everything out of its original packaging, put it into these storage pockets from Simon's Stamp and labeled each one of them. So I know exactly what they are when I pull them out to use them. Right across from that bank of drawers, like directly across is this bank of drawers that's right next to me as I'm crafting. So these are drawers that I access a little bit more frequently than the ones that are behind me. So in this bottom drawer, we have the really big rolls of foam adhesive, uh, three-dimensional foam adhesive, the stuff that just won't fit anywhere else. 
And I also have um, some of my plates and different things for my die cutting machines. Those I don't use as often, so they're completely okay underneath the foam rolls. The drawer right above that one is more adhesives. Now this is all liquid adhesives, adhesives on rolls, adhesives on sheets, things like that. Now I do access these a little bit more than the stuff that's behind me in the other deep drawer with adhesives. So this makes sense to have it right next to me. And this just is so satisfying to look at. So I know not everyone has a friend or someone who can come in and help them do a lot of organizing. So if you need some of that accountability, um, th this is what I learned. Knowing that Casey was going to be coming to my house for a few hours yesterday really helped me focus on the task at hand. I am so scatterbrained. If it's not something that has to be done right away, I'm probably not going to do it. So knowing that someone was coming over and I'd have to focus on this one thing, it really helped me, you know, push things forward on cleaning my craft room. So that's the current state of my craft room. You're not getting a complete look at everything quite yet. That will be coming up probably in my next update. I think I'm getting close enough that my next update probably will be like the finished craft room. So that'll be at the end of this month. Stay tuned. I will be doing those giveaways in that video as well, if not sooner, because I really do want to get all those giveaway packages out of my hallway. Like, yeah, let's get those out. So just stay tuned. You guys will know. Also, I did want to give you guys a warning. Um, there is a rampant problem on YouTube right now with scammers creating YouTube accounts that mimic YouTubers you know, and then like replying to your comments saying that you want to give away. If you get any comments like that, uh, ignore them. It is not me. I do not have a giveaway running currently. I will in a few weeks and I will give you special instructions on that. If you see anything about uh, you want to give away on any comment on any video, it is not true. It is a scam report that comment. It is not me. Um, usually they'll be titled something like K Warner design at telegram or something like that and says, you want to give away comment to contact me on telegram to claim your prize. I will never, ever do that. I will never run a giveaway like that. That's just purely in the YouTube comments. So just ignore those report them. Um, another way to know if it's the actual YouTuber who has, you know, awarded you a prize is uh, click on their name and it will go to their main, to that account's main page. And if you click on that and you go to their page and you don't see all of the videos that you watch by that creator, then you know that it is not actually that creator. So if you ever get a comment from anyone on YouTube that says, Hey, you want a giveaway, click on their name, tap on their name, go to their channel and just verify that it actually is that person before you do anything else. And if it is not that person, go ahead and report that comment as spam or junk or whatever. Thanks so much for watching today. I will see you guys in another video, probably in a few days. Um, I have a card video coming out using Simon's brand new release that comes out Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. So watch for that. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video very soon.